special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons. Sam Medina, Lucky Charms, Matthew Hall, Anik D, Charlene Kelly, Blabia Cookie, Madlo, Yushika Bay, and Rick Hemingway for your amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, Darkest Fools Mod. So last episode, I had to leave you guys on a cliffhanger because I completely forgot the time. <laughs> I went like seven minutes over what I wanted to record and... Yeah, I was like, oh, no, uh, yeah, we have to start the next episode. But yeah, I just hope we don't die right now because I accidentally went... Well, you could call it not an accident. I went and I woke up all these zombies. Just make sure we do that. I need to kill all of the cops first as well. Oh, that was close, that was close, that was close, that was close. Yeah, if I get up here, I should be safe now. I need to be careful of the cops and of the vultures. The only ones going to really do damage to us right now. The rest, I want to try and see if we can't burn to death. And then if I put my turrets down at the back of the year, we might actually be able to kill them. And look at all these zombies, it's insane. If I put my turret or two down, I might be able to do something again now. Okay, more Molotovs. Oh, that's a behemoth. That's the lady behemoth. Oh, no, 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 don't fall down, don't fall down. Lady in the lab coat is a behemoth, uh, lady, so we have to be really, really careful right now. See, if I place my turrets down, we should be able to help... That was a... Look at that, zombie behemoth. If I place my turrets down right now, we should be able to go and kill a few more. I'm just afraid my turrets get destroyed. Come on, kill the behemoth. I'm hoping she to drop some loot. Usually when a behemoth dies, there's a greater chance of them actually dropping, like, great loot. Loot worthy of being for us. Look at all the demos in this place. Damn. I think it might be a really great decision not to live in the wasteland. Now I need to be careful. I'm making so much noise. And what happened last episode when we were looting the... Shotgun place? There was a screamer that came from all the commotion. If I'm not careful right now, we're going to uh, end up uh, calling a little bit of a tough time again. Guys, a screamer wards are easy enough to deal with, but it's when you're in a dangerous biome like this. We're already on edge, and then all of a sudden, there's a Screamer Horde with like a ton of stuff spawning as well. Incoming enemy. Prepare for conflict. I want to make sure we grab all the loot right now, but we need to be careful, like I said, for the Screamers and stuff. What does this lead to? Nowhere. Okay, that's just the bunker doors. Cool. I want to make sure we grab all the loot over here now, because we just cleared out a ton of zombies. There are still a few sleepers that didn't wake up yet. Ooh, nice ammo. Especially since the next horde is approaching, we need to make sure we have uh, all the ammo we can actually grab right now. We should probably also go and just drop a ton of stuff in the vehicle over here because we just don't have the space right now. Drone, yeah, awesome. Remember that I thought the drone broke again? The drone has a very bad habit of breaking on you when you really, really need it. Gas up, okay. I need to be careful of all the sleepers that didn't wake up just now. Although since I jumped on most of the tents, all of them should have mostly woken. I should probably loot these bags too, right? I don't like looting these bags because they're so small and insignificant. But after a while, it can actually really help you out if you have all the resources. Uh, we can get some bones and stuff from this. Ooh, another bag. Hello, hello. Also, guys, I got the... I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. McSynthos or something uh, goggles. It's like the best goggles in the game. I have those. So that's why I don't have to uh, constantly take my other glasses off and check for stuff. I think I'm going to get a screamer with all of these explosions and stuff. As long as I have most of the stuff before then and I can just get out of this area safely, then I'm happy. Or oh, it's night time, which means demons are going to start spawning in. Yeah, you can actually see them over there. Remember, this is the wasteland area, guys. So what normally spawns for us is just radiated and stuff. Now we're getting demons. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my sword more. If I can get close enough just to stop the healing with the sword, then I can kill him with a uh, with a pistol. There's another one over there. Okay, cool. Now that I know, I need to be, just be careful. Oh crap! Don't, 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 don't. I need to be careful of my HP as well. Since my HP is low, the vultures are going to dive for me. And if you're unlucky, you might just get the uh, demonic vulture. Okay, there's still loot up there that I want to go check. But now I'm, I'm more interested in seeing if we can't find some more awesome loot that's going to really help us out right now. But I need to be careful. 
Because already this biome is super, super dangerous, and now I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Looking for stuff. <laughs> Guys, this can end so badly if you're not careful. Oh, did I loot the other one? I tried opening. No, I didn't. How far is it from... Uh, let me just see if I do this. So close. The rest of them, I should, should probably go and just lose, use a lockpick for. Especially now it's, uh, that we're at night time in the wasteland. We can't afford to make too much noise with explosions. Just dealing with two, uh, two of these demonic zombies actually almost did some damage to us just now. I want to make sure we can deal with more if they were to come. I need to keep my ears open while lockpicking, basically, as well. Ooh, let's see. One, two, three. 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 For those of you that don't know how lockpicking works, I also didn't know until I actually tried it. I'm, I've gotten way better at it. You use the A and the... Let me just see this. Boom, boom. What's this? Must be read from the hotbar. I don't know what that's for, but I'll just read it. Um, but yeah, all you have to do is use the A and the D keys to go left and right. Max level for the skill, huh? Oh, scavenging. It's not a class thing. It's not a perk thing. But yeah, um, all you have to do is go A or D to go left and right, and then you can actually go three. Like, you tap uh, D to go right three times, and then try again. Then two, uh, three times, try again. Just keep doing three, 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 and after a while, um, it will start to turn a bit more, and then voila. But as soon as you see it's not turning, don't keep forcing it, because then the lockpick's gonna break. You wanna use that one lockpick as long as possible, so you know, okay, if it breaks, I've already tried this whole side on this side. Let's go over to the next side. I feel like there's supposed to be way more loot over here. This place used to have, like, walls around, I think. If I'm remembering it correctly. And with all the walls around, there was way more loot as well. I should probably keep my knife in my hand, my sword. My laser sword. Man, look at the amount of ammo I'm getting. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Okie dokie. Um, I need to get up there. So I should probably kill him f uh, quickly first. Damn, I just called that one over. Oh crap, more, 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 more. Okay, I'm gonna have to run a bit. There's another demo as well, it seems, or it sounds like. There's a zombie over there. Okay, if I can just get rid of this uh, fire quickly. It seems the bandage is actually working really well. I'm surprised. Come on, I need the abrasion thing as well. There's a brace of armor that allows you to not... Oh, you're dead. Um, there's a brace of armor, and if you have that stuff, you can actually uh, have a chance of not getting set alight. Yeah, one at a time. Don't make too much noise, John. Headshot. Nice. So the bike is going to be a little bit tougher, so if I can hit him with a blade... And then hit him with this... Will actually die and not heal. Guys, if you can hit a zombie with a sword, do it. Sometimes when you get uh, getting overrun with like a ton of them, oh, another gyrocopter pot, nice. Sometimes when you are getting overrun with zombies, it's really, really difficult to do anything. But if you can, if it's within your means, try and just hit them with a laser tech so they can not heal, and then you can kill them so much faster. If they actually have laser tech on them, or if you shoot them with laser tech, then they don't heal. Don't shoot them with laser tech, and then they take forever to uh, go down because they're healing so fast. Uh, boom. I'm actually thinking of going and doing this. Just keeping the steel ones for now. Reason being is also we need the iron to make more stuff as well. I don't know if anything's coming from down below now. I need to be careful. My HP is doing okay. Not great, but okay. So let's just go and drink some more beer. Did I put the beer away? Where is my drone? I think you have some beer on you. Oh, took some damage. Damn it. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like the beer's on the vehicle and also the vitamins. Unless I'm just looking straight past it right now. So, let's really lockpick this. I think this is the last one that's supposed to be in here. 
one two three one two three one two three so it's d d d d d d d d d if you want to go the other way it's a a a sometimes you're lucky and it's on the side that you've tried first other times it's on a completely opposite side Okay, it's getting stuck. I prefer the uh, the lock where it actually makes the clicking sound when you open it. It's so much easier just deciding, okay, is it going to break? Is it not going to break? Sometimes you don't hear that noise and you're like, oh, I can't, I can't hear the lock clicking, so I don't know if it's working or not. Okay, can I drop... Oh, where am I going right now? Hoo-hoo, I almost fell down. So, can I drop a ton of stuff in here? Also, why is your HP so low, dude? It's like the drone loves getting attacked by uh, fireballs and stuff. I don't think there's any loot inside. There's going to be corpses down there still. I think this was the final stash. I, I'm still going to go check just in case. I mean, especially with the amount of ammo we found so far, guys. This place has been so worth it. We've gotten so, so much ammo from just this little bird. Hello, Grace. I wonder if I can kill, uh, kill her without... Drawing too much attention to myself. I want to go inside to check what's in there, but I need to be careful of any demons outside. So many times we actually get demons from outside, but we can't see them or hear them because we're busy with these zombies. At least it doesn't seem like we're getting demonic zombies from spawns, from like sleepers. Whoops. At the moment, the demonic zombies are mostly coming from outside, but I mean, it's because I'm making so much noise. Uh, we can break that open. I don't think there's anything else inside. There might be a zombie or two to kill, but there's no extra loot or final stash or something. So I feel like it's not going to be worse going in there and chancing it. Okay, let's go. Ooh, okay, when I saw this place, I was like, yeah, let's just do it. And then after a while, I was like, ooh, should I have done it? An instant regret almost. I love it when pure eyes have been tweaked. This one's been tweaked quite a bit from what I'm used to like in Where's UK because there used to be those massive chests all over. I think it's the same spots that these are, but they were more if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, I love it when pure eyes have different variations. I just wish the old variations were still in the game as well. And when they take stuff out, they must make sure not to accidentally go steal arrows we don't need. When they take stuff out, they need to make sure that they keep the old stuff in still. So there's different variations of the same building. I know sometimes they take it out just because of like lag problems and issues and stuff. But if it's not a problem, then just leave it. Okay, some clear. I want to make sure my game stage and everything is up. Food and water. Let's go. It's a shame we don't... Yeah, I need to make myself a headlight or something that's way brighter than this. I think there might actually be a vehicle one, right? If this is just way too dark, I want to be able to see the whole area when I have my lights on. All I'm hoping for right now is that this place also has a, has a Caitlyn. I think all of the traders in the wasteland should be a Caitlyn. But whether that is a Caitlyn or not, it's a different story. Nothing back there. Turn, 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 thing. you. Okay, guys, but yeah, um, at the moment, we're just struggling with these normal demonic zombies, right? As soon as we start getting like a Broodmother or more behemoths and stuff, we're going to have a really hard time on our hands. I actually want to go and check what they really look like. It might be a little bit of a spoiler, instead of just learning it right off the bat. But I want to be prepared, know what I'm looking for. Especially since I'm going to be making a new base. I need to make sure that the new base can actually handle demon bosses. Because it's not going to be titanium and indestructible anymore like Anna's place. It's going to be a place that can definitely get destroyed. So imagine wasting all those resources and then the base just instantly breaks. This POI behind me. This one over here actually has a tree that he can knock down and he can get the final stash. But you need to remember exactly which tree it is because I went to the wrong, wrong tree last time and it almost costed me. Come on, please don't be a dead end. I'm looking for your trader. There has to be a trader in this town as well. Huh. I went all the way around. That's the big bunker. It's weird that so far I can't see any trader. Like, this town doesn't have a trader at all. I don't know if it's possible to not have one at all, or if it should have one. 
Now this is gonna be a dead end, I think. Yep, 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 yep. Oops, get back, get back, get back, get back. I don't wanna get hit by fireballs and stuff while I'm inside a vehicle because it's a pain to jump out, drink. Oh, I should probably keep some water on me as well. So if I have to jump off and uh, get away, I can actually just quickly douse the fire as well. Are you kidding me? There's literally no trade over here. Okay, there's this place. I'm actually curious to see if I go for it or whether I'm gonna get more ammo and stuff. And especially since in this biome it seems like you get ammo really easily and a lot all over. Hello? Oh, another one! Or is this the same one we just did? It's another one! Hmm. If I do it, we can get so much ammo, but look at all the demons in the area. I have to deal with one demon at a time to make sure we don't get too much attention on ourselves right now. Can we dump stuff over here? Please don't tell me there's a demon from, be uh, from behind me. There's so many demons in this area, we have to be careful right now. If I can get more ammo, that's going to help us tremendously. But obviously, as you guys saw, this place is insane to clear. This time around, I want to see if we can't use our turrets a bit more. We can put the turrets on the outside of here and then stand on the gate while the turrets shoot down and out. I should probably kill these demons. Look at all the demons, damn. All the red uh, out there is demons. I wonder if I shouldn't lure them to me and just one at a time kill them. So we can focus on the outside of here. Because these are not demonic at all, but there might be a behemoth in between. What I can do, or try and do at least. Okay, fire. Can I put it out of the bandage? Yes, I can. Thank you. Make sure that this has been hit with laser tech. Why are there so many demons over here? Damn. Guys, you have to make sure you hit them with laser tech so your turrets can kill them. If you don't do it, then your turrets won't be able to kill the demons. So they're just wasting ammo on all these zombies. There you go. Now you can kill him. Is he too far away or something? It sounded like my turret was just getting... Or my drone over here was just getting hit by the turrets. Is there more? Is there more? Yep, more incoming. What is this? Is it, was this a wandering horde of demons or am I just super unlucky when it comes to demons? There's so many demons. Probably turn my turrets around now, focus on the other side. But yeah, I need to be careful that my vehicle doesn't get destroyed right now because otherwise we won't be able to get away from here. Now all I have to do is quickly do this, jump up. Oh, wow, you hit me, actually. Good for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. I'm dead. I can't move. I'm shot. I'm stunned. That's a succubus above me. No, 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 no. Please, 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 succubus. Leave me alone. Oh, I, don't, I think that's one of the new ones. Oh, no, no, no. I need my turrets. I'm not going to be able to loot up your eye now, obviously. As soon as the succubus has, uh, has you in her sights, you have a problem on your hands. Okay, move forward. I need my turrets. Damn, that succubus looks awesome. That is definitely the succubus, right? Look at all the bags over here, but I can't afford to loot that now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I need to actually turn around and go the other way around. The succubus can actually follow you for a while if you're not careful because she's in the sky. She's like a vulture. Where are you? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like a uh, it looks like a Valkyrie or something from like the movies. It's awesome. It's like skin and wings and bones and it's just awesome, awesome. But yeah, yeah, we're just gonna quickly drive and see if we can't find a Caitlyn. And then I need to just outdrive this lady now. You have a boss come for us, and it's one of the awesome bosses. That's awesome. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's a Caitlyn over here, so we'll go for this road. And just go. I can't afford to stick around over here anymore. It's too dangerous right now. Can I get away? I need to heal myself as well, because we're infected too. Damn, concussion, abrasion, infection. So much. So, so, so much damage. We have to go left. 
And uh, with all this fog, I can't tell whether that uh, succubus is still following us or not. It's definitely one of the new... Uh, it's, I don't know, it's, I don't think it's a new, new one. I think it's the old one that's been repurposed and uh, redesigned. So she's one of the weaker ones you can uh, run into early game. The fact that there's that many of these military facilities all over is awesome. I'm just hoping it's more or less morning when we get to... You know, I should probably drive slow. As soon as we get to the new town, we don't want to have any more bosses spawning at night time. Although, I wonder if she would have despawned in the morning. Sometimes these zombies that spawn at night, uh, when morning comes, they just drop dead. So that would be awesome if that boss could also drop dead and she dropped some really good loot. But now I'd never know because I'm a, I'm a wuss, I'm running away. I'm not going to take a chance and then end up dying from this. What's oh, this is all the radiation over there? Something just vomited at something. Okay, we're going to go there and just go straight past Caitlyn. I do want to see if she's selling any resources though. The nice thing is, as far as we know, she is uh, protected fully. Land claims and everything. We can't do any damage. We can't place blocks. Zombies can't do damage. It's awesome. Although, obviously, the flyers can still get in and over our heads, so we have to be careful of that. We have so much stuff we can actually sell now, even though it's crappy. And then we might be able to, like, buy steel and concrete. And if we can buy a concrete mix, 7,000 for a stack. Steel's going to be a little bit more expensive, so I'll just go for the concrete mix for now. We do have a ton of stuff we can sell to us. I'm gonna actually try. But I need the stuff of my vehicle first. You're welcome. There's my drone. Do you have anything I could sell, dear sir? Do this, do that, do that. All of the stuff I'm gonna sell. Titanium I'll keep. I wanna make sure all my tight all my um armor pieces are red. That's why I'm keeping that right now. How may I serve you? The more concrete we can buy right now, the sooner we'll be able to make our own base. I know, guys, that there's a waste buying res uh, buying resources instead of just going mining. But since we're so busy with exploring and stuff and we don't have time for mining, this is actually a very nice way to get resources. That's why she has resources to sell. It's just easier buying from her. Hunter Mastery Book, 75,000. You reset day 51, it's day? Thank you. 46. I wonder if I shouldn't... Uh, do we have the... I think we have Bye. the Hunter Mastery Book, right? Skills. Hunter. No. Oh, yeah, we do. Wait, what? Requirements not met. What did I not do over here? Rank 2 is gained when you finish your last quest. I still have my... Wait, wait. No, wait. I don't have any quests left for that. Oh, it's because of all the infections and stuff, I think. Okay, so if I go and heal myself quickly with that. We'll take a proper first aid kit to heal us all the way. Uh, I need some painkillers. Do you have some painkillers? Yes. Okay, cool. Just You're one. Welcome. That's going to be for a concussion. Okay, so everything's being treated now. Now we just have to eat and drink to fill up. I want to see if there's more stuff in my vehicle, but first we're going to have to kill all the demons outside. Um, I technically want to sell all the gun pieces and stuff. And then just put all the ammo on my drone for now. I want to do that. Boom. Okay. Uh, all the ammo we put in there. You guys, I'm not even using the auto shotgun anymore because the coil pistol is just that much better. So if I can use the coil um, shotgun, perhaps, that's going to help us. Okay. Uh, Ooh, what I could also put in there. We can throw that away. Uh, what else can I throw? I want to sell these parts as well because they do sell for some cash. But I think that's going to be premature to sell that right now. What I wanted to actually drop in there was my resources. I just bought some concrete. That's going to be awesome to put in there. It's going to suck the day you open this gate up and all of a sudden there's a boss standing right outside. Okay, so we can go and sell this one, this one. Rock launch we keep. All the armor. We have all the hazmat pieces we need, so we can keep that. Uh, We can sell one of these parts. Hello, bear over there. Sell this one. Ooh, I scrapped all the arrows and stuff. We could have actually sold the arrows over here. Especially all these iron ones. We're never going to use them, so we can just well sell them. Okay, so we do that, do that, put all of the gun parts away that we're going to keep. Auto shotgun, I'm not really using it that much anymore, so I don't know if I should keep it or not. Let me just get to a safe spot over here, because that bear is getting closer and closer and closer. Can I help you? And we're going to regret it soon. Okay, so I need 75,000. Uh, I think I have some coin at the base as well. I left it there. So if we can come and buy that mastery book, but I think we're, yeah, we already have the mastery book for the hunter class. So that's going to be a waste buying that right now. 
Why don't you want this? No sell price for the gyrocopter accessories. Damn. Okay, so more resources. The more concrete blocks we have, the more we can actually make our base right now, but we can't buy that. Thank okay. you. So now it should show that we do have our mastery for the 100 class. Yes. Uh, what else do you have on you? I didn't really check just now, so... Let's see, let's see. Rocket ammo, we definitely need that. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, she's actually selling a, uh, she's, uh, selling a helicopter as well. That's cool. Okay, some more explosives. There's a lot of ammo over here that we can buy. I need to make sure that for Horde Knight, we have so much ammo, we don't even know what to do with it. It's a shame I didn't bring all my cash with me. Unfortunately, I didn't even think about that. Now, I just also realized uh, that book You're was when my better barter was lowered due to the infections. Now that the infections are gone and my better barter is back, I don't see that book anymore. It might just be my imagination, but I think that's how it's working right now. Okay, we don't really have that much space left, so let's just do this. We, guys, we can't place blocks on the inside because it's claimed. I actually love the addition of the fact that it's claimed, so that means the demons and stuff won't be able to kill her. But also, you won't be able to live in there because you can't place anything. Okay, so now the moment of truth. What does this town look like on the inside? I need to be careful of... Okay, what does this lead to? Okay, we can go this direction as well. Um, I need to be careful of like more demon bosses and stuff showing up, although I don't think we're going to get them right now. Prepare for they mostly spawn at night time because my game stage is too low at the moment. The moment my game stage gets like 200 more, we're going to start getting these bosses as just normal spawning during daytime too. So this is actually the perfect time to build in this area because my, my game stage is still so low. If my game stage was any higher, building over here would be so damn difficult. Because you'd constantly have to kill the bosses and stuff coming for you. Hey guys, that succubus that we encountered during nighttime. That's another reason why I don't want to live directly in the wasteland itself. The wasteland might be a cool place to live, but it's just way, way too dangerous. But this is a very small town, it seems. Cracker book. We do need some notes, but I don't think there's going to be a lot in there. Uh, this bear shop. I can get the final stash quite easily, but I'm not going to do that right now. I just want to mostly see what we're dealing with, what we're working with over here. Is it going to be worth living close to this, Caitlin? It doesn't look like it, though. It seems like there's very, very few buildings in this town over here. If it was any bigger, then we'd live right by Caitlin. So I think it's going to be better to live in that uh, foresty area that I wanted to live from the start. Because it's so much closer to um, other bi biomes and bigger towns, too. You want to make sure that you have something to explore. If you're living by Caitlin just for the deals that you might have, and just for in case you go there, it's going to be a waste. I'm getting lost over here. It seems the town is a little bit bigger than it looks, but it's more to this side. And to find a road that you can actually travel down without it being a dead end is kind of hard. Oh, Behemoth. Hello, Behemoth. Don't hit my vehicle, please. I need to be careful. I think if you hit a zombie or something, your uh, vehicle's durability goes down really fast. Now, if you uh, hit that Behemoth over there, it's still coming for us. If you hit this lady, I think you're going to do so a little bit too much damage to your vehicle. Man, this is a really weird town. As soon as you think you're driving down a straight line, all of a sudden it's just like the back lot of a pure iron. Uh, can't go that way. Damn, these zombies are still chasing us. This is a really dangerous place to be, but it's awesome. Okay, let me just go this way then. That is a dead end. And yeah, this is a very small town. It's not going to be worth living here. I need to learn how to reverse with my mouse a bit more. When I'm steering with my mouse, I really struggle to reverse left and right. See, during daytime, guys, there's almost no demons to speak of. But as soon as it turns nighttime, all of a sudden you just get a ton of demons spawning in. Oh, what was that? It's weird that I haven't encountered any um, landmines and stuff yet. Yeah, this is a very small town. It's not going to be worth living here. If there was an Anna over here, we might actually take another chance with an Anna. But I think for now, even though Caitlyn is right there, we're going to go live right there. Outside the biome, so we don't have to worry too much about the... I might even live a little bit closer over here. So we don't have to worry about the demonic zombies at night. Because if we keep getting Succubi at night... Guys, you saw how much damage it did. 
The first sh uh, shot she did to me, I was completely just defenseless. I was standing still, couldn't move at all. Um, let's go this way. All I need to do now is get out of this town and go back to the other one. We should have enough resources. Yeah, now we have all the concrete on us, unfortunately. I should probably just put all the concrete on me, make some shapes while I'm driving around. It's crafting in the background. I want to do this. Is that the behemoth over there? Or is that a foot that's a behemoth? I thought that might be the footballer in the distance. Okay, we do that. I'm going to make more, uh, more of these blocks right now. I need to make sure we're not making the shape we make, uh, the frame shapes, we're making the actual shapes. Because the actual shapes are the already upgraded versions. Oh no, it's just a doctor. But yeah, the frame shapes, guys, are, are very nice for if you want to go and place blocks and not accidentally misplace something. But they look exactly the same. So remembering that you still have to upgrade them, you can easily forget not upgrade them and then your whole base is very vulnerable. So I'll rather have the original or the final block already, just to at least place the bottoms with. Ooh, look at this beam with the here. Just to place the bottoms with, and then from there we can uh, keep on going. I'm so tempted to go back for that military facility. Hello. Damn, I was hoping for some um, demonic essences. But yeah, I'm actually thinking of going back for the uh, facility, uh, facility, guys, because uh, we wanted to loot it. We saw how much ammo the other one gave, and then that succubus showed up. If it wasn't for that succubus, we would have been able to loot that place easy. And then we would have had way more ammo to work with as well. I can either use the ammo to dismantle it and make new ones, or sell it, or scrap it. So the possibilities are endless that you can do with it. I think for now what I'm going to do is we're going to go to that spot. I should probably just dig the foundation out first. And then we'll start the next episode. I want to make sure as much as... Oh, she's still flying there. I saw her wings just now. And I jumped off my bike. In the distance, I saw wings and a lady descend. She's above me, I think. Yep, she's there. I want to see what she looks like, actually. It looks like a vulture. The way she flies, she's so damn fast. See, that's the lady. She's just a succubus, but now she looks so cool. She used to have, like, feathers and stuff. Nope, nope, nope. You're too fast for me. Oh, wow. Yeah, for some reason, the succubus is way, way, way faster now as well. Also, remember, since I have the anti-rad mods on, I'm slower. So I'm not going to take that chance. Thank you. I might actually live over here, closer to the... Just in the middle of uh, everything. You're still following me if I'm not careful. Oh, this is a very dangerous position to be in. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're either going to be living over here. I, I just need to drive around a bit and check uh, where it's going to be the best. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave them down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.